Hello, humans. Wow. That cracked off. The bearings are just destroyed in that one. Wow. Okay. That one was not happy. But we're going to fix two things today on this truck. The first thing is the drive shaft just fell off. The U-joint came apart and just uh, completely fell off the truck. Fortunately, we were in a safe area and didn't do any other damage. If I were driving and it came off, it could have hit the ground and completely destroyed the back end of the truck or or something even worse. I think it was my, my fault because I, I worked on it before and didn't put lock nuts on the nuts that hold onto the uh, the u-joint so we're gonna do that right fix it second thing we're gonna fix is the uh, power steering pump it is a 1982 f-150 manual transmission oh you got a got a nice new seat in here I haven't seen that look at that seat doesn't that look slick uh that's enough talking uh let's get right to it all right that was pretty easy just a few bolts to take uh the drive shaft out that's the problem end so let's replace the u-joint up here Looks like we just got to take a clip off here, clip off there, and uh, swap it out for the new one. Child's play. That was easier than I anticipated, but hey man, not complaining. Doesn't matter, it still comes out. All right, I'm gonna try. A, what is this? 11 16 socket. See if I can just kind of knock it out a little bit. Oh, yeah, that's moving. Oh, yeah. So these are the little needle bearings inside. It's pretty cool. All right, that was pretty, pretty easy to get out. I mean, this is not a difficult truck to work on. So now the new one, though. We got some hens coming in here. What do y'all want? All right, let's see. We got some new clips. All right. I'll spend a lot of time with this. Let's see. Check this out, right? Let's see. What you got to do? That, oh, dog on it. I knew that would happen. Oh, look at that. They didn't fall out, so they're still there. Push that guy in there. Psh, easy peasy. Da -da -da -da. Let's get this, tap it down. Uh oh. Hard. Why do I need so many? I don't need two. I don't need two. He's in. So I just. Turn it over and tap her back. Is that, is that, is that really all I got to do? I believe so. Let the debris out and push her in there. Come on. Get in there and... Oh, she's in. Yeah, come on. All right. Now I just got to put that back in the machine. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's get this back on the vehicle. Not this vehicle. This vehicle. Okay. Oh, don't be falling off, please. Please don't be falling off. can't really see it's kind of dark up here but let's see if I can get this up here uh... it... there we go yeah okay now that's in there Okay, we are done. Uh, sorry, it's kind of dark down here. Hopefully you saw some of that, but um, <laughs> I mean, all I really did was use a half inch wrench to tighten a few nuts down. Pretty easy fix right there. All right, on to the next thing, which I know what that is right now. Actually, it's a power steering pump. Might as well go ahead and do it in this video because I have the parts sitting right here. Uh, yeah, power steering pump. 
it's squeaky it makes noise you see I got a new belt on here I think the belt is I think it's tensioned right maybe a little bit loose we've got a bolt that doesn't want to stay in here because I cracked the housing here just taking the old bolt off this one's a little bit long um, but uh, let me demonstrate there we go kind of noisy I don't know how old this power steering pump is but uh, it needs to be replaced all right so this would be an easy fix it's like take this high pressure line off take the other pressure uh, what is that low pressure line that's maybe that's the return underneath and then uh one bolt two bolt three bolts and you're done man it is so nice working on old cars i'm telling you look at all this room in here clamp here we need to take off looks like it's a quarter inch oh my goodness it's so loose i can do it with my fingers yeah that wasn't on there very tight Let's loosen this belt. All right. Two bolts and she's out, minus the hoses. So let's take this hose off. There we go. Let's take this one off. Probably should have loosened this while it was still hooked up. It's gonna make it hard. You got it. There we go. So I'm gonna hook up the new one, this guy, and then uh, let's fill it up. A little bit, drain it, get the, all that old fluid out of there, and then um, fill it up for good and check it out. Once again, these birds are very noisy. I think they want to get out. We're leaving them in here because, uh, you know, there's a fox. We saw a fox the other day, and, you know, it's for your own good. We want you to survive, ladies. Yeah. Just hang out. Hang out there a little bit. Oh, hello. Okay. I think I'm gonna have to get a puller. Pull this thing off. It's just pressed on there, right? All right. So it's been a few minutes, and we have all the oil draining out of here. But went to the store, came back, and we have a pulley puller. Power steering pulley pump puller. Say that five times. Power steering pulley pump puller. 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 I rented this. It's brand new though. All right. There we go. There. That goes on there. Let's see if this holds on here. And then we can tighten this up. I think that's it. All right. So now, okay, we got this. Okay. See if I can do this by hand, or if I need to get some power tools out. Here it coming. There we go. All right. All right, I gotta save this bracket. I gotta take this bracket off. Definitely gonna need that. get this on maybe we can just hit it on like this you know what we can never mind we can screw this on and get it on the same way we took it off I think that's good there we go 
Hopefully this pump works. There we go, I just cut that off. All right, look at this. This is, it's oblong. You know, I think I'm just gonna order a new uh, high pressure line. It's the next day and we have an order that came in. Yeah, I know, you're probably like, you ordered this from Amazon? Yes, I did, cause I couldn't find it anywhere else. At O'Reilly, it, it looked like it was like 130, no, it was like 250 bucks. Amazon, this was like 10 bucks. Um, high pressure line hose. I wanted to get this in. I wanted to replace this at the same time, so. Let's, let's do the heavy lifting outside of uh, leaning over the truck. Let's see if we can't, wait, this is the old, wait. That's the, that's the old one, let me, hold on, hold on, let me get the new one. TV timeout, be right back. All right, here's the new one. And I think we should just go ahead and put this in here. All right, I won't tighten this all the way, but I'll get most of the way so we can bend it around. All right, here's the line we're replacing here. So this is the old one. It's kind of hard to, let's see. Come on, loosen up for me. There we go. I got, got loose for me. This is really dirty, but I am gonna flush this. Put this long bolt in. there I think I'll be just good I think that'll be just fine we are got this hooked up we got this one hooked up and and yeah I mean this wraps around like this but even if I turn this the other way it's still gonna wrap around that way so I think this is you know just fine the way it is we'll try it out here's the return line I'm gonna just uh, collect that uh, down there and then run some power steering fluid here through here and bleed out the system we'll clean out the system a little bit let me tighten up this bolt this one a little bit and uh oh i need to put the belt back on well, here's the belt we can do that right now okay the belt's on all right well this is what we got type f automatic transmission fluid that's what I was told to put in here. Oh, sh what was that? <laughs> Just my birds. What are y'all doing up there? I thought I spilled the transmission fluid. Y'all scared me for a second. No, you good? You stay there. All right, let's let's finish this up. That that was only about half a bottle. I'll suck that down for sure as soon as I start this engine. So, um, I got it partially off the ground. That one's off the ground. This one's close enough off the ground, so I'm gonna start it up, twist them a couple times, just get get this through the system. Let's see if we can collect this this power steering fluid and something down here. some of it okay well we flushed the system okay i got the return line filled up or connected down there so now let's just fill this up all right let me move the wheel back and forth a little bit see if it sucks it in there to the right to the left back to the right
all right still a few bubbles in there um i think in about 10 more minutes it'll work their way out and maybe i'll start it again and then take it for a test drive question does anybody know how to fix a sloppy wheel this is a little bit sloppy driving you know that joint right there doesn't appear to be any slop in it right there you know as i'm moving it back and forth i think it's maybe coming from down yonder so i thought it might be right there where that broken boot is right there it does look broken doesn't it right at the end which before it was squeaking the whole time I think that's expected right there ah still low still low well, it's gonna take just about one at least yo yo uh, yeah I don't get... well, I'm, gonna... I'm bleeding the truck for what reason because Power steering. Is it squeaking or is it bad? Well, I replaced the power steering pump because it was starting to get no good. Yeah. I replaced this belt here, power steering pump, and uh, yeah, it was, you know, it was old. It was, time, it was due. So I replaced the radiator here. Yeah, it's nice and clean. And uh, I replaced the uh, spark plug wires. Place the carburetor, the headers, the clutch, flywheel, the uh, solenoid. <laughs> what have I not replaced here? <laughs> uh, the engine like four times. I'd like to get the AC back in. Look, there's an AC ready to go back in here. I got the pump. You can hook it up to this pulley right here. All right, I think I'm ready to take it for a test drive. Look at this mess I'm making down here, though. Thanks. Oh, yep. Oh. All right. Let me test it out.